Hi, I'm Brian Collier, your Executive Director of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. I want to take a moment and just tell you a little bit about the success the Texas Department of Criminal Justice has had with the 88th Legislative Session. We're very grateful for the legislative leadership, for the approval of our requested items this legislative session, but we have truly received an unprecedented amount of funding in our agency that will help us make milestones of advancements for our agency in the coming years, thanks to the funding provided. One of the more important items that has been approved by the 88th Legislature is a pay increase for state employees. This is a 5% or $3,000 minimum pay increase for all state employees, and this year that pay increase will actually begin in July of this year rather than September, which is typical for pay increases. For correctional officer one positions as well as parole officer one positions, the increase in salary for the next two years will equate to just under a 15% pay raise for those employees over the two-year period. Also very excited to announce that we received funding for a TDCJ training facility. As many of you know, we have used training facility space at Sam Houston State University for many years and we are grateful for that partnership. However, we now will be able to build a standalone facility that will serve our correctional training, our probation training, and our parole training needs, and our leadership training needs well into the future. That site will be selected in the Huntsville area and construction will begin on that project in the coming months. We also receive funding for additional protective gear for our correctional officers, as well as security and surveillance equipment for our facilities. These will allow us to keep our video surveillance systems in good working order for the future, which increases our security and safety at our facilities. We also receive funding for body cameras on our maximum security facilities, and officers at those locations will transition to wearing body cameras in the coming months. That will improve their safety and the security of our facilities. We also receive funding for several other areas of need in the agency to include capital equipment to replace major equipment items on our facilities, also vehicle funding to replace vehicles within the agency, and a significant amount of funding in our infrastructure. For many of you that work on our facilities and you know that we have major repairs that need to be done, many of those repairs will now be able to be done as we've received funding for that. I want to again thank our legislative leadership for their confidence in our agency by providing this level of funding to us. These will make significant enhancements to our system for the future. I want to thank you as the employees of TDCJ for what you do each and every day for this agency. Your efforts matter and they are noticed and you can tell that by the funding that we have received by the legislature. Thank you again. Very grateful for the funding that we've received. As we move forward in the next two years we'll put all that to use to help improve our agency for the long haul. Thank you for what you do and remember we're all in this together.